to be. Now, I mean, the wobble is a threat to anybody. Yeah. So definitely. that'll be interesting. I'm curious to see how Jigglypuff can break up the Ice Climbers and, and remove the wobble from the situation. Great, great down smash from Fork, getting some great damage on Prince Abu. I wonder how the rest punish would factor into this as well, possibly hitting both of them or making it more difficult having Nana almost as a shield. We'll see how it works out. See, the way how I see it is that with the rising bears, the Ice Climbers have difficulty trying to get Jigglypuff into a grab. Yeah, okay, okay, sure. Getting the grab would be very difficult because, uh, yeah, Jigglypuff is a very aerial uh, based player, right? So she's always exactly. going to be in the air. There's very few times where she touches the ground. Now, one thing I do want to mention about Fork is his Sopo is exceptional, and he's always been doing, he's been making waves with the Sopo, even though he loses the team. Uh, the true, you know, trademark or testament of a high level Ice Climbers player is how well they play with a Sopo. And, and just like that, he closes out the neutral. Down smash, and he's only have, having 50% on his first stock. And he's got into oh, a grab, my okay, goodness. Nice Can't get too much out of it, but 12%, yep. not bad, not bad. Well, anything that he can do at this point is extra credit. He's tacking on more and more percent, and it's just going to put him higher up in the next stock. So this is all important. And it's always Sopo. I think it sets a great precedent going forward for the set if he can do this on his own, too. Great short hop up air right there. Getting some decent punishes off of Prince Abu on Prince Abu's second, second uh, stock. Yep. Just past uh, 1 minute 15 seconds into this match. You know what? I do like the patient play from Fork, though. If he can force any kind of impatience out of... Oh, like the oh club that's not what you want to see. That's, that's not the what kind of, you want to see. I mean, not what you want to see from Abu's side of the story, but for Fork, that's exactly what, I, what he exactly. wants to see. Exactly. And you look at this guy's face, though. Fork is... He's stoic. He, or he, doesn't, he does not change his facial expression. And you look, look at Prince Abu. You can barely see his face now. He's just looking down. At he is zoned <laughs> in, yeah. <laughs> he's zoned in. His face is incredibly oh. close to, to, the, to, the, uh, to, the, to the camera right now. Yep. But now Prince Abu manages to leave it, and apparently... Oh. Just to talk about the other, by other Trillium. <laughs> my goodness, yeah, on the other stream. Yeah, two, two, two Congrats to Trillium, Trillium on the other stream, but now yeah. back to, the, to this match right now. Prince of Boo is actually trailing two stocks, and he's struggling against the Sopo of four. And that's, that's what I'm going to say. Like, I got to say it one more time. Sopo lived this long. This is all extra credit with Sopo. That's a huge start to this Two set. minutes and ten seconds of Sopo. <laughs> Yes. That's, that is amazing. Oh, well, if, not you wanna, if you want to calculate but, yeah. the actual amount of time with Sopo, then yes. A great yeah. desync there. And yeah. A great series of back gears trying to get some, some damage, 20% damage on Fork. Yeah, Fork's now, still up a clean stock right now. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like to see what he does with both of them, though. And it's interesting. It's almost like having both of them is more difficult for him to handle, uh, like, from Fork's perspective. Because he seems to get hit and, you know, in the neutral a lot more when he's got Nana in the way for... I don't know, we'll see how, how this turns out, but he's going to take the opportunity to take out Nana and close out Nana's stock. That's an important stock for Nana right there. Very wise decision by Prince Abu, but now he has to, to face Fork's inc impeccable uh, Sopo. Yeah, and a lot of it is actually just the tricky placement of these down smashes in the neutral and just how powerful they are, especially against the floaty being Puff, right? And just the angle that it sends him makes it very difficult to recover effectively, so... It's a very useful tool that Fork is, you know, very exceptional at utilizing. The thing about Fork that you have to keep in mind is that it's patient aggression. Both players are want, don't want to go for too, for too many whiff punishes, yep. or if any, and they want to be able to bait each other into submission so that they can punish immediately after. Yeah, similar style from both players. Now, Abu is slowly closing the distance. They're on the same stock right now. This could very, you know, very switch, very quickly switch in Puff's favor. If I'm Fork right now, I would definitely want to, you know, calm down, you know, try to, to slow the pace of the game down. You do have a relatively slightly lead there. Try to reintegrate your, st your strategy and then re and then reattack uh, Prince Abu. But now yeah. it's Prince Abu, uh, Prince Abu at 111%. Any strong hit, like a down smash or up smash, will do the trick. He's going to send him flying right there. Sends him back air, off, sends him off the stage. Great stuff. This Perfect is just conversion. past four minutes into this match, but, uh, but a rest on Nana. I guess that's all you can do is a, a charged forward smash. You don't have too many options on uh, the rest punish with just uh, Sopo. So I guess that kind of worked in his favor. By getting that rest, he avoided the wobble, which would have ended his life. So and you're looking interesting at trade. You're looking at Fork right now. His face... His face emotions have not changed at all. Oh, still yeah. looking at, still, still concentrated, still at the same amount of concentration going into this match. If Fork is poised to take this right now. He definitely does not want to lose this game. This is an important game for him and his kind of smash career and his growth. I was about to say he has to be very careful in that situation because in that brief situation, Prince Abu had control of center stage and was getting some very, very strong hits off of Fork. Yeah, he is doing a great job edging him out though. He's at 71 right now, so yeah. 
Oh, that might be. That's an outsmash. Okay, that close. almost did, did the trick. Yeah. Now, Fork just has to be very, very careful now. Don't go for too many whip punishes. That was a whip punish there. It gets hit by a back air. Won't take too much damage after that, though. We are just past five minutes into this game. And this game is just is okay. incredibly just all over the place right now. Yeah. Well, Prince of Boo does a good job closing out the stock. He has 84%, which is a dangerous amount of percent to play with, but he could take it back with patient play and, you know, precision. With you see that? I love what Fork did. Stay on that platform, rethink your strategy, take a deep breath, and then go back in. Yeah, why not eat up time? I mean, we're at, we only got two minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. This is when the long Oh, oh he's going for a wobble! Okay. And <laughs> the most wobble, wobble situation. <laughs> and he might, and he will actually take the stock yeah. if he doesn't drop this wobble right now. Great <laughs> stuff. Four <laughs> takes the first game. I did not expect this at all, honestly. Well, yeah, I mean, a wobble is huge, and that will close out the game. But it was funny just listening to the, the hype in your voice. For <laughs> <laughs> he got a wobble. <laughs> that was some high-level tech right there. I is. never thought I could be this hyped for a for a wobble other than a wobble on Peach. Yeah. <laughs> but now Wobbles they're going right exciting, back. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess the only time wobble is exciting is when you're facing a Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> or Peach. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, we're going we're going back into this match. Uh, game, game two, Prince of Boo. He's going run back. It right back. Not even you know, the not salty even run back. <laughs> I don't know. I think Prince Abu is a little bit reckless right now, uh, but right now Fork cannot let this victory get to his head. He has to be able oh. to understand that this is only game one. He has to win one more game to take the set. Yeah, and it's interesting because Prince Abu seems to be doing a lot of the right things as far as separation goes. He can very, very quickly pick Nana out of the pack, but it's the Sopo I think that really you know keeps this game going. And he's got to figure out how to deal with just the one afterwards. Now you're seeing Prince Abu having. Control center stage getting some a series of, of bears on both ice climbers. Yep. Right, now, right now he gives up that stage advantage to Fork. Fork manages to get some damage off of that. Both players still in the first stock, still relatively even. Yeah, it's actually interesting watching these two play though, because I, I find ice climbers to be very a very ground-based character, right? They they are very patient, waiting for you to get down to the ground to, you know, to counteract with a grab or something. Mm -hmm. And on the flip side, oh nice forward Great smash. Great series of forward smashes there. Yeah. On the flip side, though, you got Puff, who's all aerial. So, wow, taking the first stock of a Prince Abu. Prince Abu is shifting his his his, uh, his seat, trying to get something Wait. out of it. But that back air might opportunity. do the trick. Yep. Another back air will try to seal the deal. But Fork manages to get back on stage. I'm not sure if people are watching this match right now. This is not on the big screen. But Fork is making this match work very very well in his favor right now. Although he will lose that first stock. Yeah. I mean, it looks surprisingly simple. Like, or sorry, it looks simple. The the side B comeback, but it's surprisingly difficult to you know gimp around that comeback. You can sometimes get caught in that tornado, and it's you know it's difficult. Again, you're seeing that patience from Fork, staying on that platform for just an extra two seconds, just trying to take that deep breath and yeah. trying to refocus his strategy against Prince Abu. Now, one of the the main decisive you know points in the last match that really set the stage or set the 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 win streak for Fork was the fact that Prince Abu's SD. On his second stock, right? Oh my goodness, great wobble. Of course I say fourth. that, and then he loses his second my stock My goodness, I cannot believe I'm actually hyped for a wobble. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm actually saying this right now, but probably because it's the underdog mentality, but Fork is now looking to take a very clean stock lead over Prince Abu. Yep. Prince Abu, mind you, is the world is the world's second best player. Ooh. I mean, second best Jigglypuff player, that is. Yes, that is true. Now, he did manage to take out Nana. I was saying that in principle, you know, he has needed the second stock, but I guess that's almost the same kind of thing when you get caught in a wobble and your second stock just disappears. So the same kind of lead. This is looking very similar to the last match, and Principal is having a tough time adapting. But Prince Abu, not, not a person to be slept on. He does have some very, very strong tools to come to make this comeback. This is sure. still a very, very doable match. Two stocks to three stocks. He just needs to do a bit better, not be too, too aggressive, try to fade back a little bit, don't yeah. go for too many whiff punishes, and he should be able to bring this back against four. I mean, if he does manage to sneak out a rest here, I feel like the, the trade-off isn't good enough, though, because he'll come back and wobble him and completely lose the stock. So he really does just have to wall him out with back airs and keep this center stage positioning, just like he's doing right now. Uh, and that's going to be the main way for him to close oh, these stocks. Very, very questionable forward smash there. Prince Abu should have gone for a grab, in my opinion. Yeah. I honestly think he's doing, he's doing too well with the Sopo. And he's attacking on too much percent where this, you know, should be the area where Prince of Bully sells, but could, it seems to be more difficult. Could this be Force Breakout Tournament? He could only hope. He could only hope right now. We as Canadians could only hope that the Canadian players, no bias, but, you know, <laughs> that the Canadian players make it pretty far. But, you know, either way, it's 
definitely an you know exciting matchup right now. I, if you're if you're thinking about Prince of Boo's mind right now, you certainly are just probably having a bit of frustration there. I mean, you're taking down one yeah. uh, one stock, and now you got you got to reset the situation. And now suddenly, Prince of Boo might actually lose this game, and we might even lose this set. Yeah, he is on his final stock. He has got his back against the wall at this point, so it's going to be difficult. And getting any kind of rest punish is going to be extremely difficult at this point. All Fork needs is one wobble right now. He's looking for that wobble right now, but right now, not with none okay. off the stage right now. Now he's going to go back to Sofo situation. Yep. Great grab there. Can't get anything off of that. 20% on Prince Abu on his last stop. Only 50% on Fork. Still doable for Prince Abu. We are just past, we are past around 4 minutes and 30 seconds into this match. He needs to take this out, and he needs to take it out without losing any more percent than he already has. Right, 29 is a pretty safe percent. You could, you know, safely assume that he'll go into the next stock and have a very good chance of winning. But the more extra credit the fork tax on right now, it's it's going to be extremely, you know, difficult for him. You can see, you can see fork right now. It's still very, very stoic. Both players still very, very stoic. You see, you can see Abu, you see Prince Abu, with a very, very serious, serious, serious eye. He's Looking incredibly focused. Yeah, we got the crowd telling Fork to time it out. Oh my goodness, yeah. Right, you know, Fork playing patient, which is good though. Take any time that he can. Oh my goodness, I and that's, that, that hit will do the trick. Both players are not down to the last stock. I was about to say, you know, guys like Austin right, right behind me are wanting, yeah. <laughs> wanting them to yeah. <laughs> do a timeout there. 68%. I wouldn't necessarily say this is kill percent. Jigglypuff can, you know, can take a couple more hits and still be okay. So it's not too volatile. It's still, you know, very oh. possible. But Fork really wants that wobble. He's getting that grab, but just misses the yeah. grab. Whiffs that grab. Prince of Boo's trying to bring this back. Fork needs to be needs to take his time right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, that up smash. Won't do the trick, but, that but one more strong hit may do the trick against Prince Abu. It's a really tricky Fork. conversion, though. Exceptional, though. I have never seen Fork play personally. Go. Oh my That's goodness! It. And Fork will take the match against Prince you Abu. Back-to-back, -back, though, we I had... think this is an amazing upset. Yeah, back-to-back -back 